Welcome back. This is an Alex training video on writing and balancing complex half reactions in basic solutions. All right, so they're going to give you something to in words, and you're going to have to make it into a into a equation, and then balance it. Uh, and remember, balancing an equation is just looking at making sure that you have the same elements on both sides, same number of atoms on the left and the right. When you balance a redox reaction, you're also including the charges, the electrons on both sides. And depending on whether something is an aqueous um, uh, acidic solution or basic solution, you also have to take care of, of what's in the water with the stuff. All right, so let's just start slow and easy. We've got water breaking apart into oxygen. So it's, it is oxidizing into water or into oxygen and they want this to be in a basic solution. So I'm simply going to start with water. So water is H2O. It's a liquid and it's going to break apart into oxygen gas. Right? Now, in order to know what has happened, I need to be able to assign some oxidation numbers first. I'll start here. O2 is the oxygen in the air. So this is what you see when it's not just oxygen, but it's O2. Oxygen is a diatomic element, so it's what you find in the free state. If you see oxygen, it will always be O2. And free state elements always have a, a zero as their oxidation number. Otherwise, as a compound, uh, oxygen is always negative two. Now, hydrogen, two hydrogens are gonna balance with a negative two because every compound is always gonna be neutral. So, so there's two what's to get into a negative two, two positive ones. So in this case, I've got a positive one for hydrogen, a negative two for oxygen, and a zero for um, O2. So what has happened? The negative two has gone up, has gone up to oxygen. So this is an oxidation step, okay? And that's what we've seen, that it's an oxidation of water to oxygen, right? Now, in order to balance everything, I've got two O's on this side and only one over this side. So this is just like normal balancing equations. I need two waters but I've got four hydrogen protons on this side, but I don't have them on this side, so I need to write them. Do you see, I, my oxygens are balanced, but now I have two times two, so on the other side I'm gonna write four protons. And I assume protons would be aqueous. Uh, we'll see that it cancels anyway, but this is aqueous, right? Now the very last thing in a, in a uh, redox reaction is that not just the elements have to be balanced, but the charges have to be balanced. We're going to see that on this side we've got four plus ones and one negative two. So that's four minus two. So there is plus two on this side. Okay. And on this side I've got four pluses. Right. So I need to say what has happened? Where have my electrons gone? So it, it's here to here is where the electrons have changed from O as negative two to O as zero. Okay, do you see because my hydrogens haven't changed, I've got four hydrogens here plus, I've got four hydrogens here plus, no problem. So I've got two times negative two, so this is negative four, but one. Well, I have negative four on this side and zero on this side, so I need to say that on this side, four electrons changed places. Okay, so I need to add where the electrons changed place. In fact, if you wanted to do this step before you took care of the hydrogen, it's fine either way. You, you're looking at the original, where did it go up or where did it go down, and you're always going to put your electrons on the side that's the highest charge. Okay, so in this case it's zero, but that's still higher than negative two. So two times negative two is four, so I need to add four electrons on this side. Okay, all right, now what's happening in balanced equations and why it's a headache to so many people is be, in order to balance something, you're adding things like protons, okay, 
that then you have to take care of later. You have to undo. And the way you undo a proton is with water. All right, so let's see. On this side, we've got four protons and two oxygens, two oxygens and my, um, my electrons are taking place, okay? So that's pretty good. So let's look now at protons. In order, to, in order to take this, which is acidic, into basic solution, because that's what they want. We want it to be in basic solution, basic aqueous solution. I have to cancel these acids. The protons are acidic. So as, as of now, if they ask for acid solution, you'd be finished. This would be your answer, okay? But since they ask for basic solution, I have to neutralize this acid and I do that with hydroxides. So I have four to get rid of, so I'm gonna add four hydroxides on both sides, four hydroxides on both sides, and what that does is it creates water. Because hydroxide plus protons is hydrogen hydroxide, which is H2O. So on this side, I've got O2, which is a gas. I've got four waters, which is a liquid, plus I have my four electrons. On this side, I've got two waters, which is a liquid, plus four hydroxides, which is aqueous, okay? And here's my arrow. Now I've got waters on both sides. So two waters cancels with two waters. You see, leaving you Two. Two will cancel with two, and so on this side now I have two waters and I have none on this side. So, so far I've got four hydroxides, which is aqueous, yielding oxygen gas, plus two waters, plus four electrons, and now that I have hydroxide, that is basic. I'm now in basic solution. So this is the end of anything that's asked for acidic, solution, and then one more step to turn something into basic solution, and that one more step is that you have to add hydroxide to both sides. Um, you know, whatever you add on one side, you add on the other side, so it'll cancel, but that hydroxide takes uh, neutralizes that acid, and now you're in basic situation. So you've got one extra step if they ask for basic. Hopefully they'll always ask for acidic, and you will be fine. Thanks.